Hey guys, so this is Paul Harris here. I'm an ACA qualified accountant with over 10 years experience in both practice and industry. So today I'm gonna to go through some accounting basics with you. This is gonna cover revenue and accounts receivable. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to know what revenue is, what accounts receivable is, how you transact for it using T accounts and the documentation that's involved with processing the revenue and accounts receivable transaction. So let's get into it. So what is revenue? Revenue can be described as turnover, sales, and also the top line. The reason it's called the top line is because that's where it appears on your profit and loss account. Revenue or sales is effectively how much money you have earned from the sale of a product or service. So for instance, if I was to sell cars and I was to sell two cars at 5,000 pound each, my revenue would effectively be 10,000 pound. Revenue has to be transacted for and recognized in the year in which it has occurred. And as I said before, revenue appears on your profit and loss statement. What is accounts receivable? So accounts receivable can also be called a debtor. This is effectively money that is owed to you. What I mean by that is a sale doesn't always have to be transacted for in cash. It can be transacted for with credit. So someone could owe you money, maybe for 30 days or 60 days. You have to recognize the other side of this transaction. So you recognize revenue, you also have to recognize it on your balance sheet as, an, as someone owes you money because they have yet to pay you. And this basically sits on the current asset section of your balance sheet. So I'm going to go through two ways in which you would recognize a transaction from a sale. So there's a cash sale. So for instance, if you were to sell a chocolate bar for £10, you would effectively increase your revenue position on your profit or loss statement for £10 and you'd equally increase your cash position because you've received cash for the sale on your current assets section of your balance sheet under the headline cash. So the second example is a credit sale. In this example, you have performed a service but have not yet received the cash for that transaction. So in this instance, you would increase your revenue position on your profit or loss statement. You would also increase the accounts receivable position within current assets of your balance sheet because that is money that is owed to you. So now I'm gonna go through how you would account for that using T accounts. So I'm gonna start with revenue and accounts receivable. Now to increase your revenue position, because you've made a sale, you would credit revenue. So here I've had a sale, I've credited it £100. The other side of that transaction is accounts receivable. To increase my accounts receivable position, I have to debit my accounts receivable balance. So I've debited my accounts receivable. Now the next step is when I've been paid for this transaction. So the way I would transact for this is I'd have to bring up a cash T account, I would credit my accounts receivable position of £100 to reduce the amount owed to me, I've already received the money, and I'd have to increase my cash position. So to increase my cash position, I have to debit my cash account. And that's basically it. You start with revenue, you credit your revenue position, and you increase your current asset position, so accounts receivable. And then when you receive the cash for that money's owed to you, you would reduce your accounts receivable position by crediting your accounts receivable balance and you'd increase your cash account by debiting your cash account. So I'm now gonna go through the documentation required to process a sale. So in this instance, say a client rings you up to purchase something or to request your services. At this point in time, you'd raise a purchase order. Then when you send the item out or you've performed the service, you would either need a goods receive note or confirmation that you have performed the service. At that point, you'd have to then send out an invoice to charge the customer for the service or the product that you have sold. At this point in time, you'd process the transaction, so you'd credit revenue and you'd debit accounts receivable. At this point in time, they owe you the money for the services you provided, but they are yet to pay you for that service. Then once they've paid you for that service, you would then raise a receipt. On receipting the customer, that's when you would process the transaction of debiting your cash position to increase your cash balance and you credit your accounts receivable position to reduce your accounts receivable balance. If you were to sell a lot of products and a lot of items to one customer, they might want to understand how much balance is still outstanding to them, at which point they might request a remittance. A remittance advice will tell the customer how much of your 
outstanding balance has been paid. And that's basically it. So you should know now what revenue is, accounts receivable, how to process a transaction, and also how to raise the documentation needed to process that transaction. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like the video if you want more accountancy advice, because there's a lot more videos to come. Thank you very much.